Hello guys, this video is meant to give explanation about one of the system in helicopter that is stability augmentation helicopter. This video is presented by Zach, Daniel and Diana. The objective for of this video is to identify the concept of stability augmentation system for both fixed wing and helicopter. The conventional helicopter that we see today is inherently unstable in pitch and roll movement. So now I will explain about what is pitch and roll. This is the example picture of conventional helicopter. Pitch and roll is the attitude of the aircraft or we can call it the movement for the aircraft. So there are three movement or attitude of aircraft that is pitch, roll and yaw. This is the example of picture to give explanation about the movement of roll, pitch and yaw. As you can see, the roll movement is the movement whether the aircraft want to to the left or right and pitch movement is the movement whether you want to up and down and yaw is the movement whether you want heading to the left or to the right. So, the reason why stability augmentation system is important because if the pilot continuously keep the helicopter stable manually, it will result in pilot fatigue. So, the stability augmentation system will provide a short term automatic control to keep the helicopter at required attitude or required movement. The difference between stability augmentation system or we can call it SAS and autopilot system is that the SAS provides a short term stabilization and why the autopilot can actually fly the helicopter for a long term and perform certain functions selected by pilot. So the the main difference is the SAS is used when we want to stabilize the attitude or the movement of the helicopter in a short term while the autopilot is used when we want to maneuver the helicopter for the long term. Okay, now we I'm gonna brief about the stability augmentation system. The function for the stability augmentation system or we can call it SAS is to provide corrective control input proportional not only to the rate of change of attitude but also deviation from a datum altitude. What is datum altitude? Datum altitude is the measurement of vertical height displacement. So how the vertical height dis displacement is being measured? The vertical height displacement is measured start from the terrain below the aircraft. So, uh, to be uh, easy to understand, the altitude is the length from 
the sea level we measured it until the aircraft above it so for the stability augmentation system the red gyro is used as the sensor a red gyro is a type of gyroscope that not only indicate direction like other gyro it also indicate the rate of change of angle with time so for vehicles the red gyro is used as the sensor for attitude control system or we can call it the sensor for movement of the vehicles so the red gyro output is integrated by a leaky integrator to stimulate an attitude signal or movement signal that is your pitch and roll that can be used as datum an integrator is a component whose output signal is the time integral of its input signal. Why it is being called a leaky integrator because it does not have a long term memory. So when the red gyro sends the present attitude signal, the present attitude signal will be compared to previous the attitude which is about 20 to 30 seconds ago from the integrator if the pilot not maneuvering the helicopter or when the helicopter in normal state there is no movement for pitch roll or yo the red gyro provides signal directly to the computer and through the leaky integrator which produces a not genuine altitude by integrating the red signal. Right, next I will explain a little bit about the SS system. When the flight path is disturbed, the red signal produced by the gyro is used to stop the red. The leaky integrator produces an attitude that is different from the attitude that existed 20 to 30 seconds previously. The both error signals that are produced by the red gyro and leaky integrator are sent to the computer which provide correction signal to the actuator to move the main rotor, thus return the helicopter to the delta attitude. The leak in integration means that the pseudo attitude will disappear after a short time and the system will regard the continually updated new attitude as the datum. This system can overcome the problem of nose dropping during a turn by feeding a derived bank angle signal to the pitch channel and also by comparing the pitch attitude to the datum attitude. In a steady condition with no disturbance, the SAS will drift off from the desired condition due to the error in integrating very small signal from the red gyro. SAS can only provide a short-term attitude hold. To provide a longer term of attitude hold will largely det be determined by the sensitivity of the red gyro and the time constant of the integrator. I will proceed about pilot commanded input. When pilot provided a commanded input, the simple rate damping and shadow attitude hole will interpret it as disturbance. To prevent this, a steep position pick off or LVDT sensor is fitted. LVDT is linear voltage differential transformer. 
when pilot move the stick, the stick position pick off or elevated sensor will disconnect the red gyro signal from the leaky integrator and remain open until the stick is at the term. Next, the red gyro signal will straight goes to the computer which will not has any attempt to return the helicopter to the datum existed at the beginning of the maneuver.